So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to replace this part right here. This is called Top Rotor with Engine Gears, and it's for a Mota 6036 smartphone controlled helicopter. I actually have two of these I'm going to be replacing today. What tends to happen, uh, if you see these two white gears right here, uh, they either get cracked or bent, and these are the main drive of the helicopter. In this case, this one is the bottom gear is actually cracked. And on this one here, I actually have the top gear. If you look at it when it spins, it actually is kind of warped. So it's stuck right there and prevents it from flying. So um, I ordered these online, the parts, this part right here online from Moda, directly from their site, about 550. They came in a packaging like this and came pretty quick. Uh, the only problem is that the directions to install uh, were this. It basically says to remove the screws. There's about 20 of them and it does not give any other direction. I did look online, couldn't find any other video showing how to do this, so thought I would make a video, show you how to replace this part into this helicopter and maybe it would help some of you out. first thing you're going to do is we're going to remove this cockpit area, this whole front here, because that's just in the way of the parts we need to get to. You're going to remove this screw here and on the opposite side, that screw right there. Let's go do that now. Once you have the screws taken apart, you're going to take and pry uh, the cockpit apart a little bit like that. Just a little bit on there and the whole cockpit will slide forward like this. And that allows access to our plates, which we're gonna remove. Uh, we're gonna be removing these plates here to get to that gear assembly right there. Now that the cockpit's out of the way, we're gonna start on this side of the helicopter. And the reason we have to start on the side of the helicopter is the top plate here actually has two hooks. And these hooks hold in the motors. Uh, if you start on the other side, you will not be able to remove the motor. So start on this side here. You know it's the side to start on because this is the charging side. It has the two hooks at the top plate here. Uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws after removing this screw here. And this screw here, I simply remove that first because it has a part that goes back to the tail here. Just get that out of the way first. Then remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. Once those screws are out of the way, I hope you paid attention to the small screws and the large screws. I don't think it really matters, but there are two different size screws there. You're just going to take and remove this plate here. This is the easy plate to remove here. And then once you remove that, very simply look at one, two, three uh, pieces of metal here. You're just going to slide them off the post there. That just makes it so when you screw the screws down, they don't bust out the plastic there. There's just three screws there. and now we're ready to start the top plate here. So now we're ready for the top plate here. There are one, two, three, four, five, six screws on here. Uh, you're going to remove these six screws and this plate is not going to come off because what you're going to have to work around is getting it around this one, this post, and that post there. Um, it's not the easiest thing for me to actually videotape while I do, but remove these six screws. And what I usually do is this back piece of plastic here is in the way. You can actually go on the other side, remove those screws. It's just that's unnecessary to do. What you can do is actually bend this guy um, to the back. That's what I usually end up doing is forcing him to the back. Uh, like so. I don't know if you can see what happened there. I actually bent that to the back and then I'll be able to remove this plate. And don't be concerned about removing this and the whole gear assembly falling out because you actually have the screws in the back that are holding the gear assembly in. So go ahead and screw the, unscrew these screws and um, I'll show you what to do next after you do that step. Now, before we're actually going to unscrew the screws in the back of this gear assembly, what you have to do is, if you notice on here, there's this motor here, and it goes straight through to the top motor there. This motor here goes to the bottom motor right there. What you're going to have to do is we're going to take, and we're going to pull these things out. 
I take and put some leverage on the bottom. I usually use a flat head screwdriver here. And I take and push to remove, uh, remove these out of the top like that. Same thing for this one here. I'm going to take and push it. And this one has to be a little harder because it's got to go through two gears. That's what you want to do before you remove the three screws in the back. You want to have these loosened up. Because once you remove the three screws, then you're going to have to replace the whole gear assembly. Put everything back to how you, how you have it originally, just like this with the new part. Put those gears back in and we'll be able to screw it back together. I'll show you that in a second when we get done here. Last thing to do is to remove these three screws here, one, two, three, and that will release the gear assembly out. And then we'll just simply reverse the steps. Go do that, start doing that now. Now when I do this, I wanna hold this guy together here. So there's a lot of, a lot of pieces here that you don't wanna, especially the gears, it's the, the motors themselves, you don't want those motors uh, being swapped, there's thin gauge wire on it. You just want to make sure that you're holding it together because once you remove this last screw, the gear assembly will be loose and we can replace it. For this next step, I'm not going to actually show you what I do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do first and then we'll come back and replace it because uh, it's not gonna look good on video, but I'm gonna turn this around. Now that I have the screws removed, this gear assembly is very, very loose now. Pay attention to how the wires run. Take this broken one out and replace it with the new, and we'll start assembling it back together again. So I got my new gear assembly back on. I just temporarily put in the motors back in. Uh, before I push them down and set them in place, I do want to set these three screws in the back here. Remember, don't do the front one there. That front one there is going to be for the cockpit. Do that one, the lower one right there, and that one right there. And uh, once we have them screwed in, your gear assembly should pretty much be secure enough that you can work a lot easier. All right, once you have those three screws in, you're just gonna take and simply push these guys down. Make sure the wires are kind of run the way that they're supposed to. And you're gonna take and push this guy down through till it clicks in to the bottom. And this guy will click in the front. Actually, he just slides right in. He actually won't click in because he slides right into that top gear there. And then you're gonna position these wires so they're not positioned the way I want right now. Position those up, and we'll get ready to put the top plate back on. My wires are all put in place how I like it. We're going to take and put this piece on next. This is the top plate here, the one that has the angle brackets on it. You are going to have to go over, again, you're going to slide over top of one, two, three different posts there. Uh, and you're going to have to deal with this guy here to bend this guy out of the way. I usually use my hand to bend that out of the way and slide that top plate on and then screw those uh, screws back into place. So now you got the screws on there. I did forget to tell you, leave that screw out right there. That's going to be the final screws to hold on the cockpit here. That's going to be our last step. Leave that one blank. And what you're going to do before we put on this bottom plate right here, Remember to take these three pieces of metal here and put over top of the post. There's one there, one there, and one back here. And that's just to help when you screw down the screws. Then you're just gonna take and put this plate on here. Hard to do upside down here. You're gonna do that on there and you're gonna take and screw all the screws on there and don't forget you got this back plate here you got this back piece right here that's going to go in the bottom right back here 
and screw and that's going to tie into the back of the helicopter back here again i'm not going to assemble this on video it's pretty self-explanatory i just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like and uh almost done Get the bottom plates on you have the bracing connected right there uh last step the last step you have to do with take is slide the helicopter cockpit back into place and these are those two screws right there one on this side and one on the other side take and push that back put those screws in and uh, you should be good to go last screws on cockpits in place turn on your helicopter after it's charged got the blinky lights and the repair is done. Happy flying.